right, today we're uh, showing you guys our 632 twin turbo hot rod. It's just an insane, insane package. Um, totally streetable, the hot rod series. You know, the cam acceleration rates are pretty mild, so you can drive it on the street. It makes um, way over 2,000 horsepower, um, and it just has a lot of nice features that we want to show you. Uh, some of the nice features, it's got our NRE 321 uh, stainless headers. Uh, it's got our billet 16 injector intake where it has all the fuel regulation, throttle body, all built into the intake itself. Our anteater um, tusk that mounts the blow off house, completely out of billet also. It's got our new water to air intercooler, runs water through the intercooler this way, air flows this way. And it's got uh, very little amount of plumbing so the air just shoots through and back into the intake so the response is really nice to sink spools, boom, just like that. Uh, our billet valve covers, obviously our, our nice 632 engine that we've designed, and, uh, and our integral fuel regulation in the back is one of the really trick setups. Another nice thing that we've done is it's got this billet specialty drive system, which we've modified the alternator to go from 140 amps to 185 amps, and we've modified the lower pulley to increase the water speed for the larger radiators. It's AC power steering, high amp alternator, you know, all the good stuff, so uh, just a really incredible package. All right, so I wanted to show you a close-up of the internal fuel regulation that's built into this intake manifold. So we've made our own fuel regulators. So this is your primary and secondary fuel regulators. And so the fuel comes in, shoots across, so the fuel will enter, go through the fuel rail, Enter all the injectors. Once it reaches its excess pressure, it shoots across into the fuel regulator, comes out of the fuel regulator, and comes out of this return right here. So your fuel feed and fuel return for your primary are just these two lines, and there's no other plumbing to do on the motor. Your secondary system is the same way. Fuel comes in, shoots across, goes through the internal rail on the intake manifold, which is machined into the lower plenum and then shoots down into this return. So two feeds and two returns feed a 2,500 horsepower system and there's no other plumbing. You adjust your fuel pressure from these and there's also internal drilled holes that are O-ringed which boost reference the fuel regulators. So once you reach one pound of boost, it increases the fuel pressure one pound. So it's all done for you in this setup which is a really nice way to do it. Another nice thing that we've uh, done for these motors is that we've run a screw-in dipstick into the oil pan and it has a quick release to pull the stick. So the oil dipstick can never be blown out of the motor on a big turbo motor. That's, that's important. You don't want a dipstick to fly out and oil to go everywhere. So the stick goes in, it's all O-ring, you clip it, can't get it out. It's in there for good. And it's just little features like this throughout the entire motor that make this a great piece. Valve covers have a dash 12 O-ring uh, built into it, so you can run your breathers to a canister. So again, no oil gets inside the engine bay, goes to a canister, and that's another neat, slick way to do it. Another thing that we've been doing recently is that we've been running a 12 and 8 pin Deutsch connector, which are removable. So if you ever want to take the motor out, you just unclip this connector, unclip this connector, your entire engine wiring harness is undone. So all the wiring in the motor is handled between these two connections and that makes for a hell of a sanitary installation so you don't have wiring everywhere and also it's just very easy. You just got two clips and the whole motor comes out. That's your entire wiring for the motor. These are the new V-band blow-offs that we use from Tile. They flow an extreme amount of air so when you let off the throttle it takes the pressure off the turbochargers. We run twin blow-off valves and it, they operate, you know, obviously through engine vacuum. The minute you let your foot off, bang, opens up and really increases the life of the turbocharger. Twin 88 millimeter turbochargers. Uh, you know, these are, I guess, these are the semi big boys, and uh, they really move some air when you. When, I mean, more power than most people will love or need, but there's also we also have a thumper that's even bigger than this, but these are uh, pretty monstrous compared to the 72s. 
All right, today we're dynoing our 632 twin turbo hot rod. Uh, it's pretty much just a redonkulous motor. Uh, so much horsepower and torque, you never use it on the street. It actually is very much a race car power, you know. 22, 2300 horsepower with ease. Uh, over 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. But the beauty is, is that this motor, in today's day and age, people are building race cars that can be driven on the street, and this motor can be driven on the street. That's the difference. Is the, the cam timing and the springs aren't crazy, and it's just insane. I mean, it just, it's broke, the, it's, it screwed up the servo valves on the dyno twice just because it, it wraps the thing so heavy. Uh, at any rate, uh, take a look. Pretty ridiculous. All right, so this is us mocking up on one of our 632 twin turbo big blocks in a 69. They're really one mean ass package. It certainly fills the whole engine bay up. It is badass. 